All right. So, so far, what do we know? Let's continue to work with the Hicksian system, and we'll come back to the Marshallian system in a minute. All right, so what do we know for the Hicksian system? We know some important results. We know that partial C partial PI, these XIH of P1 up to Pn U bar. We know symmetry, partial XIH partial PJ equals partial XJH partial PI. Okay, so we know that those cross partial derivatives are equal. Okay. We had our result that the cost function was homogeneous of degree one. That tells us that the demand functions have to be homogeneous of degree zero. So XIH of alpha P1 up to alpha Pn U bar equals XIH of P1 up to Pn U bar. So if I multiply all the prices by the same constant, it does nothing to change your optimal choice. Now, is that, is that, a, what, does that rationality play a role in that? What if I had a guy who really behaved in some very erratic way? Well, it really, if you think about it, and it's even clearer in the Marshallian case, this requires a kind of very limited notion of rationality, right? It's like my choices only depend on the choices I have, right? I could have some very weird other properties, but as long as kind of my budget set determines my choices, these kind of homogeneity properties will hold, because nothing changed about your budget set when you multiplied all the prices by the same amount. The opportunities you had haven't changed at all. All right, so that's kind of that's kind of that result. So that's homogeneity. 